So I'm going to show you how to make a Halloween ghost costume. So here are the things that you're going to need. So an old double bed sheet, some string, some black fabric and some fusible web suitable for applique and a sewing kit. So first of all you take your old double sheet and you fold it into quarters and then lay that on the floor. Tie a piece of string to your pen that's slightly longer than the folded quarter edge of your sheet. Hold your string in the corner and mark the widest arc you can. Then cut the fabric. Measure your ghost head and add five centimeters. Divide this by four. Mark another arc at this length in the remaining corner. Cut it out. To make the hood, take the double layered piece you just cut off. Take the head measurement plus five centimetres and halve it. Add one centimetre and measure a square of this size from the seamed edge. Pin the two pieces together and cut them out. Curve one edge for the back of the hood. So we've now got our cut out hood ready to sew. We're going to first of all turn the right sides together so that when we sew along the edge and turn it inside out, all of our seams will be on the inside. So we'll pin this. So now you want to use a one centimetre seam allowance and sew all the way down the curved hem. So I'm going to unpin this now. So we now need to ease this edge into the neck hole of the ghost costume that we've already cut out from earlier. So I'm going to turn that the right way. So I'm just going to use a pin to mark the centre back and the centre front of this ghost costume. So pop one in there. Pop one in there. Make sure to match the right sides of the fabric so that the seams will be on the inside. By dividing the neck hole into quarters you can distribute the hood evenly, easing where necessary. So we're now going to sew on the machine all the way around this edge where we've pinned it. So now your hood is attached to the cape part. Let's turn it the right way around and have a little look. Let's make the design for your costume. Using a hot iron, carefully fuse your webbing to the wrong side of your dark fabric, making sure you iron the papery side and not the gluey side. With a pencil, sketch out your design, making sure to draw any letters backwards. Cut out each part of your design. Remove the paper layer. The glue should now be fused to your dark fabric. Lay your pieces out onto your costume and carefully press them with a hot iron. Last of all, you just need to sew around the outside edge of all the cutout pieces. And now we're ready for our ghost. <laughs>